Alright guys, it's your boy Carolina Chris to six. Alright guys, I'm your boy Carolina Chris26 and welcome to my comic book Wednesday, new comic book day for August 28th, 2019. It's a pretty good one guys. I uh, do apologize for kind of Getting this video out late as usual, you know I do, but this time I have a good excuse. Uh, I'd been kind of under the weather this week. Uh, had to go to the hospital to get some tests ran and whatnot. Um, you know, I'm doing okay. Just got to... Nothing. I mean, I, I, the doctor put me in the hospital not long ago for about a week and a half for cardiac issues. And Anyways, they're worried about my heart, so... Just got to take better care of myself, guys. You know what I mean? So, uh, I try to do my best to get my videos out as quick as possible. But, you know, guys, got to do what the doc says. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I love comics. I love you guys. But, you know, if I'm not here alive, uh, I mean, what, what's going to be the point? You know what I'm saying? So, enough with all the depressing news that I'm always coming at you guys with. I've got a very, very thick thick stack of books that I just recently picked up. Um, today is actually Friday the 30th or the 31st, I believe. Um, I had a couple other videos I had to work on and get those edited out too so I can have them done this week. Uh, those two videos I had recently shot this past week uh, to uh, Native Heroes in Comics um, uh, episodes. And this is a thick comic book haul, guys. So you ready to get started? You ready? You ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. Alright guys, first up we're going with DC because I don't have a lot of DC this week. And um, the first one up the list is a uh, Batman Curse of the White Knight book to cover art by Sean Murphy. Writer Sean Murphy. Uh, colors Matt Hollingsworth. Um, dude, it's, uh, it's pretty. I can't wait to get into this one because I was actually kind of feeling uh, issue one. You know what I'm saying? And um but uh, I can't wait to sit down and get down into issue two here. Next, we got Justice League Dark, number 14. This is the B cover. It's the Clayton Crane cover. Man, I have been really loving this story. Um, writer James the IV. Uh, dude, he's really, really bringing it in this issue. And uh, Clayton Crane is no slouch to doing sick covers. I really do like this cover here. Very, very wicked. I'm not going to say it's one of my favorite Clayton Crane covers, but dude, he has so many. You know what I mean? He does have a lot of hot covers out. So Next, we have Detective Comics 1010. Writer Peter Tomasi. Can't wait to sit down and read this. I've been loving uh, Detective Comics uh, pretty much up to this point. Uh, cover is by uh, Brian Hitch. Uh... It's the Brian Hitch variant. Uh, again, writer Peter Tomasi. Year of the Villain, Dark Gifts. Can't wait to sit down and get the cracking into this uh, Detective Comics. I've really been loving it. And Justice League Dark, dude. I mean, I'm absolutely loving that. Now, here's a book that I am behind on, but I have all the issues to sit down and get caught up. Um, it's um, Action Comics uh, 1014. Uh, Year of the Villain, Dark Gifts, we got the Red Cloud attacks, and there's a cameo at the end of this issue, and the next issue will be a first appearance. They actually have a sick Lucero Perillo uh, cover for uh, issue um, 115, and it's the cardstock variant. I've already pre-ordered like three or four or five copies of that. That's a straight cover by, but I mean, who knows, man. There's a lot of hype about that cover. Because uh, it's going to have Naomi. Uh, Naomi, yes. Naomi is actually in the DC Universe for real now. Um, she makes an appearance at the end of this issue. Um, and I hate to spoil it because I have not read the issue. So, I mean, <laughs> what's the sense in uh, spoiling it? But I'll let you catch the last page. So, you got Naomi and Superman coming now. Well, uh, you okay? Not even a little. Superman, thank God. My name is Naomi, and I need your help. 
I can't wait to read the rest of it, dude. I've already read the left. I vote my presents before Christmas, you know what I'm saying? But I'll sit down and knock it out, guys. Trust me. Uh, I hope I didn't spoil anything for anybody, guys. Last on DC, I've got Batman, Superman, uh, the connecting uh, covers here. Um, this is the Marquez and Sanchez uh, cover, I believe. Uh, writer is Joshua Williamson. Uh, and here's the connecting covers. Uh... I have not read this neither, but I did skim through the back. And dude, there's a lot of sick comics with, with a, a lot of sick comics with some sick last pages. This one here, if you haven't found out, uh, Shazam actually, uh, it's the Shazam Who Laughs. So you know how Batman turned into the Batman Who Laughed? Well, it happened to Shazam. It, oh my God, dude. I, if, if, if anybody hasn't read this yet, please close your eyes or... Close your ears for a second, because I'm just going to show the last page. Now just look how wicked this looks. <laughs> that is crazy, ain't it, man? Look at Shazam. Dude, dude, oh my God, yo. I can't wait to sit down and read it, seriously. Next up, we're going into Marvel. Um... First up on the Marvel list, I have Marvel Comics Presents, uh, number six. This is the third printing uh, with the first appearance on the cover, I believe. But I'm pretty sure she's my daughter. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, writer is Tim Seeley on this issue. Um, yeah, the writer from uh, Dark Red and a couple, couple... Uh, well-known comic books. If you haven't heard of Tim Seeley, man, you're living under a rock, man. This guy is amazing. You know, I really do love his writing. That's a key issue right there. I only grabbed one. I didn't get greedy on that one. You know what I mean? Next, we got Thanos number five. This is the A cover. Uh, writer, uh, Teeny Howard. Cover, Jeff, Jeff Deacon. Yes, cannot wait. I really am loving Thanos. I'm loving the um, the relationship with little Th little Gamora and uh, Thanos. Uh, considering he killed all her people and he kidnapped her, and now hey, she's just she's rolling with the punches. You know, she figures she can't she can't. I don't know what she figures, man. She can't run and she can't beat him. So you know, might as well join them and get what you need out of them and then kick them to the curb. You know, hey, I mean, so she's she's a little. She's a tough little girl, you know. Next, we have House of X, Issue 3. This is the C cover. Um, uh, cover is by Sarah Pichelli. Uh, variant writer, Jonathan Hick Hickman, of course. Everybody knows that. Uh, dude, uh, Issue 2 was crazy. I really loved it. Uh, uh, Margaret Mathagger. Um... She has that re reincarnating. She's actually a, a mutant, which is crazy, but yeah. Hey, whatever. It makes for a good story, honestly. Uh, I was never really a big X-Men reader prior to this uh, House of X. So, you know, I mean, I know the characters. I know who a lot of the characters are, but there's a lot I don't. And, you know, so it's, it's kind of a new story for me, and I, I'm enjoying it, to be honest with you. Next up, we got... Donnie Cates, Ryan Stegman, Absolute Carnage, Wow, Issue 2, this is the A cover, cover Ryan Stegman, of course, writers Donnie Cates, yeah, dude, I mean, Ryan Stegman's work is just, just unbelievable, I mean, I'm not going to say, because that, that that Venom foot kind of resembles a Rob Liefeld kind of foot, to be honest with you. But, hey, this is Ryan Stegman. Apples and oranges, love. Apples and oranges. Next up, we got <laughs> Absolute Carnage tie-in, Venom number 17. Um, I have two A covers here because you know how I do. I gets one for my son. I gets one for me. I gets one for the kid, I gets one for the dad, you know what I mean? The young cow and the old bull, hey, alright, anyways, 
I got two covers here. Uh, this is the Kyle Hotz uh, cover. Um, and writer is Donnie Cates. Oops. Get that glare off of that. Yeah, man. Kyle Hotz and Donnie Cates is uh, killing it. I mean, I love... Uh, I love Kyle Hotz's uh, covers, man. Also, I have a B cover, and this is the Bring On the Bad Guys variant. This is a pretty, pretty dope cover. Um, it's cover B. Uh, Alright, this is the B cover, the Bring On the Bad Guys uh, cover. Um, the cover artist by this is uh, Shung, Shung Han, Shung Han Yoon. Uh, bring on the bad guys variant writer Donnie Cates. I'm sorry, uh, Shung Young, Shung Hung, Shung Hung Yoon, Yoon, oh, whatever, man. It's the C cover, dude. I'm sorry for chopping your name up, bro. Seriously, I mean, your cover art here is amazing. Um, and just because I can't say your name, don't mean I can't read this comic. You know what I mean? Next up, we've got Absolute Carnage, Miles Morales. Um, this is the Young Guns variant. This is the... Yeah, this is the variant. It's the... Maybe, the G variant, I believe. Um, no, this is the F. Uh, it's the Absolute Carnage, Miles Morales, number one. F, Javier, Goran. Young Guns variant, writer, Saladin Ahmed. Um, it's crazy, bro, because, I mean, we got the doppelganger, uh, Miles Morales do doppelganger on the cover. Dude. I can't wait to read this neither, man. You know what I'm saying? I haven't read it yet, but... Guys, I'm telling you, there's like a lot of WTF moments at the end of these pages, man. Look at her. Carnage has got Miles up in some crap. Miles is pretty much begging him. But he is done for a perfect little monster. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of crazy what WTF moments going on in some of these comic books, bro. I'm All right, guys. Last on the Marvel list, we got Absolute Carnage, Lethal Protectors. This is the A cover. I cannot wait to sit down and read this neither. These Absolute Carnage tie-ins have been crazy because the wild thing is I didn't really buy a lot of it. I didn't buy a lot of the tie-ins for War of the Realms. I mean, I bought a few, but... You know, this is crazy too, man. Is this? Wow, man. I want to think this is Misty Knight at the, on the last page. Yeah, they took her arm. And, oh, dude. Oh, yeah. The, the, oh, the chick from the first Absolute Carnage uh, book is in here. Yeah. Uh, right there, that chick right there was on the cover, and you know what, I didn't even, damn, I didn't get that cover when it was out, man, there was a bunch more in the LCS, but I didn't get one, man, Jesus, man, I wish I could have got one, I wish I could get one now, but I can't, you know, I'm screwed. Next up, guys, we got Boom Studios, um, uh, the glare is not gonna matter with the bag on or off, so, uh, we've got Boom Studios, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 42, B cover, uh, Ghani Montez, foil cover, writer, uh, Marguerite Bennett, uh, yeah, cover art is by, uh, Guni, Gune Montez, foil cover, writer, Marguerite Bennett, um, it's the Pink Ranger, um, yeah, they're going to be coming out with a lot of covers with the different color Rangers on it. I'm trying to get every one of them covers. Uh, so my cousin Mike, if you're watching, please do keep me in mind, even if I don't. But he put that in my box, so he had me in mind. Uh, next up, Scout Comics, uh, Crucified Issue 3. This story here was getting pretty, pretty crazy. To be honest with you, I'm not even sure if I actually got Issue 2. 
I need to check on that because I might ac I might have accidentally missed issue two. Um, well, uh, cover art is Stephanie, uh, Renee, uh, Rennie, Stephanie Rennie. Writer is Sheldon Allen. And I believe this is the A cover because it's the only cover they had that came out, I believe. And that is Scout Comics. Shout out to my boy at Scout Comics, Richard Rivera, dude. Still waiting on that Stabity Bunny, man. What's up with my Stabity Bunny? Uh, next up, we got Vault Comics, uh, Resonant 2. The second issue, the first issue was Bananas, man. I cannot wait to sit down and actually find out what is twerking off into this issue here. Uh, cover art is by Alejandro uh, Oregon. Yeah, Alejandro Oregon. Oregon is the cover. Writer is David Andre. Andre. Or Andre, Andre, whatever, how you say your name, man, brother. Last up on tonight's haul is um, another indie, IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 97. I have three covers. I have an A, B, and an incentive cover. Um, tonight's issue is Jenica's first appearance of her getting her new yellow headband. Um... This would be on the Kevin Eastman B cover. Um, see, Jenica gets her new headband. See, here's all the covers that, that had came out. And that was the Lee and Huck Lee one, man. I wish I could have got my hands on that one, but... There's the one page where the house gets... Uh, Attacked by these assassins in yellow, yellow, uh, mask on, right? So, Jenica helps out, you know what I'm saying? She's over there, she's, she's getting involved, she's kicking a little bootie. Uh, and then they ask her, hey, try on a mask, man, it'll make you feel better. And she says, so how do I look? She's like, like a badass, you know? And then Casey uh, hands her a sword that has a yellow, um, a yellow uh, handle on it. So yeah, I'm assuming that's gonna be her weapon is the sword. Uh, the cover art here, she has a sword and a bow with yellow uh, feathered arrows. And she is a yellow bandana turtle. So that's her, that's her, that's her color, yellow. And then we have the A cover, which is by Dave uh, Watchner. Um, and yeah, that was pretty, pretty dope. City at War. Alright, then we have, I want, I think this is the 1 in 10 incentive uh, variant. Um, I have two copies here. And this is the Corey Smith incentive. I didn't hear any talk about this being like a major, major issue. That's, you know, I heard this is where she gets her yellow bandana, and I'm assuming, hey, you know, uh, it's possibly got to be worth something in the future. So, um, yeah, I grabbed uh, quite a, quite a, quite a bit of covers of uh, the B cover. Uh, so yeah. That's uh, the B cover. And you know they say the A cover is the cover that's always worth more. But this is the B cover. And the turn on the cover with the yellow bandana. And this is the A cover. Um, I mean I got like, I got some copies of that too. But actually um, I'm putting a copy of each of this uh, A and B into the, the giveaway. Um, this is a stack of books that's going to be in the giveaway plus uh, one or two CGC graded comic books and one of these Wonder Woman uh, signs any frizzing 9.8s behind me uh, will possibly well not nah, they're going they're going in a giveaway guys 
and A and a B cover to the books that I'm donating to this uh, little boy named Jace Glossner, who's got stage two uh, kidney cancer, stage three kidney cancer. Uh, he's three years old. He's lost all his hair. He's going through chemo uh, three days a week, eight hours a day, uh, Chapel Hill, and I'm putting together a big box to donate to him. To make him feel better. My comic book group, Make Comic Book Collecting Fun Again, designs these coloring books where they get different comic book artists and some some who are professional, some are not so much, but they put together these coloring books, which are awesome. Yeah, see, my comic book group, um, they have these coloring books designed, right? Uh, and there's different kind of stuff going on, you know. And these are some of all the covers, coloring books that they have out. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, man, to see. So you got a Cyclops there cooking a barbecue. And, I mean, it's pretty awesome because they, they put together these huge boxes of these coloring books, right? And they donate thousands to... Uh, hospital children's hospitals all over the United States now right now they're donating a lot to Flint Michigan due to the water the water crisis that they're having and um, so they donated these coloring books and a big box of crayons for me to give to Jace I've got a lot of comic books I'm putting together for him and uh, I cannot wait to give them so I will be giving him um, couple of these turtle books here I'm gonna put um, two in the giveaway I'll be doing and then the rest I'll put up and hey one day and you know dude I mean I, I pay what four dollars with my 20% off so I mean even if I sell them at cost with a little bit of shipping and handling I mean I mean yeah I'll make my money back off of those in the future I'm pretty sure man hey call me stupid whatever let me know in the comments guys was it was it a dumb move uh, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have done it but I did it. It's my money. Hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, mean I could do what I want with my money, right? <laughs> Even if it's stupid. Also, guys, I wanted to let y'all know before I end this video, as far as the coloring books that my group is donating to hospitals all over the United States, coloring books and crayons, uh, they're only possible by other members of the group donating money and their time for these coloring books to get designed. If it wasn't for the great members of this group, um, you know, it wouldn't get done. It's really special how members of this group take the time to make things like this happen for kids, sick kids, in hospitals all over the United States. So, I'm very, very proud to be a member of this group. So, guys, that is it, man. Um, I really appreciate y'all coming through, man. Um, thanks a lot. I try to get my videos out a lot quicker, but like the doctor said, I do really need to start taking better care of myself because I've had a couple of scares with my heart. Thanks for coming through. I'll try to get videos out uh, faster if I can. So, got four videos I got to get done this week, but I'm, I got to take my time. I can't push myself to the point where I'm exhausted like I have been, you know. And I haven't been wearing myself out on videos. It's just a lot of other stuff, you know, everyday life stuff. So I'm just trying to take better care of myself, guys. That being said, guys, be safe. God bless. Have a safe weekend. See you next Comic Book Wednesday. Don't forget to always, always make comic book collecting what? Fun again.